All right, hello everybody. My name is Patrick Strom, and I'll be talking today about whether or not the Leica M4P is better than the Leica M6. Hang on, and you'll find out in just a moment. Okay, okay, I know exactly what you're thinking. You know, the Leica M6 has a built-in meter, right? Uh, whereas the Leica M4 doesn't. So basically you have to ask yourself that question. Do you need a built-in light meter in your camera? And I would answer for myself, absolutely not. And many of us and many of you probably don't either. So what are the advantages of the Leica M4P over the Leica M6? Um, first, let's just talk about the similarities. Basically, they, they are the same exact camera in terms of frame lines. So it was the 28 millimeter frame lines were introduced on the Leica M4P. Um, they were not on any of the cameras before the Leica M4P. There were no 28 frame lines on the Leica M3, Leica M2, Leica M4, Leica M4 II. But then the Leica M4P came out and it introduced uh, the individual 28 millimeter frame lines. So if you're a 28 millimeter shooter, the Leica M4P or the Leica M6 are going to be basically your best friend. Um, of course, you don't need to have 28 millimeter frame lines in your rangefinder uh, in the camera if you want to shoot a 28 millimeter M mount lens. You can always pick up an external viewfinder, which just slides right up into the hot shoe like that. And actually, in, in my opinion, um, it does take up a little bit more bulk, but at the same time, it is much, much brighter than the viewfinder within the actual camera itself. But anyways, um, you certainly don't need an external viewfinder. Now let's just talk about the, the differences because this is what I'm trying to talk about. This is the big thing that I'm trying to put out on YouTube that not a lot of people know about. Um, I don't think this has ever been mentioned on video but there is something special about the early version Leica M4Ps that the Leica M6 does not have. And there are two things. So the early version Leica M4P came off of the production line of the uh, M3, M2, M4, M4 II, okay? And it kept something the same. And what that was is the top plate. The top plate in the early version M4Ps is actually a um, brass top plate, which is more desirable for you know your your more like a purist type person because as you use this camera, you'll get a nice brassing or or uh, patina from use. A little gold will start to show through. Um, the other thing about the top plate that's different from the early version M4P compared to the Leica uh, M6 is that the top plate has recessed windows, okay? Um, I'll post a picture up here of a Leica M6 for you so you can see. The Leica M6 does not have recessed viewfinder windows. What does that actually mean for us or for the user? It means two things, at least to me. Um, it means that if you have a flush top plate like the Leica M6, you are more prone to get dust uh, on the surface as well as potentially inside the viewfinder. And also the, the viewfinder is more prone to fingerprinting. So it's really cool that the early version Leica M4P actually has a recessed window. So it's got a little drop. The window is just a millimeter or so below 
the actual uh, edge of the top plate. And that is actually something that comes off of the M2, M3, M4, and M42. And I actually have an M2 here, which is my favorite Leica M camera. And I'm just gonna hold them side by side for you. And you can see that they actually have the same type of viewfinder and top plate when it comes to that recessed window right there, okay? Um, now, the key point to all of this is that the early version Leica M4P is the only one that has both 28 millimeter frame lines and a recessed window. Later in the production line of the Leica M4P, they removed this. They actually moved uh, towards the same type of production of the top plate of the Leica M6, which is both a zinc top plate and um, and it has the uh, flush top plate windows, okay? So basically this is a little hidden gem. Not a lot of people know about that. So if you are a 28 millimeter shooter, if you can deal with not having a external light meter, it's, it's so easy. Basically I shoot 90% of the time without a meter. Um, you just get used to it. I feel like it's a bit of a crutch, personally, but hopefully that doesn't offend any of you. Um, but if you can get a, an early version like an M4P, you're gonna be able to get both the nice um, 28 millimeter frame lines as well as the more desirable top plate. So hopefully that was a little bit more information for you that you didn't quite know um, about a Leica M body in general or more specifically the Leica M4P. Anyways, I've got a lot of other gear and um, I've got a lot of photos. Actually, let me just quickly attach a couple photos that I've taken with this exact setup, my 28 millimeter Elmerit version three, as well as the Leica M4P. Let me attach some of those really quick. And let me also just say thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm really looking forward to bringing more content to you. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments. If you have any questions about the Leica M4P or the Leica M2, let me know. I've also handled the Leica M6 and shot that, and I've also owned a Leica M3. So if you have any questions about those things, uh, just leave a comment in the description or leave a comment below. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure this out. Anyways, thank you all so much.